Hi friends! Check out today's video where I will talk about our arrival in Japan and what we did on our first day. July is the peak of the summer in Japan. Parang nasa Pilipinas ka at sobrang humid. So we had to deal with the heat but of course we still had a blast. <laughs> Remember in my last video, I mentioned that you should be prepared for a long immigration line? In our case, we experienced an hour and a half wait. Others may have waited longer or shorter, but that's how we had to wait until we reached the immigration officer. Just a reminder, ensure you have the custom declaration form with you as soon as you retrieve your luggages. You can use the exits marked with duty-free custom declaration exits. Be careful not to confuse them with the exits for those who have prepared the declaration online. And this is where they will ask for the QR code. Upon exiting custom, you will immediately see the airport information and the limousine bus counter. Anjan lang siya paglamas mo. Despite our schedule being two hours away, tinanong ko if we can board the earlier bus if it's not full. They promptly accommodated us and the bus is just like outside Terminal 1, making it impossible to miss. The travel time from Narita Airport to Shibuya is more than two hours away. Para ka ding bumiyahe from Manila to Pampanga. Our first destination is Shibuya XL Hotel Tokyo, which is in the heart of Shibuya Crossing. This hotel is a perfect choice for me and my daughter, especially because the limousine bus stops here. The room was a good size and had everything we needed. But the best part is, the main Shibuya station is just across the street and Mark City is attached to it. Plus, the famous Hachiko statue is just a few steps away. Most of the places we wanted to check out are just walks away, literally. In terms of cleanliness, I'd give it a 4. As there were few hairs in the bathroom which obviously hindi naman sa amin. We also enjoyed the good breakfast. And overall, we had a great experience with this hotel. Based from Wikipedia, Shibuya Crossing is the world's busiest pedestrian crossing with as many as 3,000 people crossing at a time. It is located in front of the Shibuya Station Hachiko Street and it stops vehicles in all directions to allow pedestrians to inundate the entire intersection. According to the official website of Meiji Jingu, Meiji Jingu is one of the Shinto shrines in Japan. It is located in Shinjuku, Tokyo. Meiji Jingu is dedicated to the divine souls of Emperor Meiji and his consort Empress Shoken. Their tombs are in Kyoto. After they passed away, the people wished to commemorate their virtues and to venerate them forever and decided to establish Meiji Jingu. Emperor Meiji is the 122nd Emperor of Japan. He ascended to the throne in 1867. When Japan was facing unprecedented conditions such as the opening of the country to the world after its long isolation and the end of the Tokugawa Shogunate, Emperor Meiji took the initiative to promote friendship with other countries and to introduce Western civilization and developed technology from overseas while preserving Japanese identity and thus lay the foundation of modern Japan. 
Meiju Jingu Shrine is a must-visit attraction in Tokyo. While strolling, I forget that I am in the heart of Tokyo. Nakalimutan ko na nasa city pala ako. It feels like hiking, surrounded by trees and greenery. People walking are silent. All you can hear are the birds chirping, the leaves fluttering in the wind, your steps, and the sound of the flowing water. One of the adventures my daughter and I embarked on was walking from Shibuya to Meiji Jingu. We checked Google Maps which indicated it was only a 19-minute walk. It was 8 in the morning so we decided to start our walk for the day. However, we soon realized it was a misadventure as we did not anticipate the heat and humidity. Sobrang init, grabe, napasubo kami sa lakad. Wala na kaming magagawa but to proceed and finish what we have started. But the walk was rewarding. Upon reaching the shrine, we found it much cooler due to the surrounding trees and very relaxing as we could hear nothing but the sounds of nature. I love the sound of leaves rustling in the trees. It always makes me feel at home, bringing back sweet memories of my childhood. Yung feeling na bumabalik ka sa pagkabata at ang saya kasi kumpleto ang pamilya. You know, it's not just about the sound. It's about that longing for the good old days when life was much simple. When I was with my siblings, with my parents, with my uncles, aunts, and my grandfather, it was a beautiful moment just to feel that emotion again. Anyway, Meiji Jingu was amazing, but we were so tired to walk that we decided to take the train going back to the hotel for the first time. Magpatanghali na at sigurado mas mainit. May jet lag pa kami tapos mainit, maglalakad, ang sumit na ng anak ko. I'll share about our first train experience in my next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye. Sayonara.